All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here we are. New moon, solar eclipse, beginning of October. Lots of new energy coming in. And as it comes in, there is, I don't say this too often, but I have been feeling it, a lot of dark forces all around a lot of dark forces and so the work that we do in our own personal practice with mother earth is so important <clears throat> it really is right now it's so important so needed to help hold that vibration alight because we are on that precipice where are we going to go how are we going to shift which is it which is it which are we going to feed right so some of that dark energy can be attractive if we stay stuck in the old mind, which is what this eclipse energy is about. So when we were moving through the lunar eclipse back on the full on the uh, full moon, it was hitting on that old patterns, old stuff, old karma, old energies. And with the new moon now coming in, it's about can you move through that portal? That's what I see. It's like imagining this portal and letting your soul bring the physical body right through this portal and say, okay, cut the cords behind me. I'm done and move to the higher vibration. So it is sitting more pushing on the north nodes, which is our new energies coming forward. And so this clips, especially with the Libra, is asking for that balance. Many people hang out in the limited beliefs of the mind, the old energies, the victim, all the things that happen to them. And we're human, so it happens. But it is a choice to which one we feed. Again, it's like, okay, just declare, decree, I'm done. And then start to find yourself moving forward to rebalance, Libra's the scales, rebalance that light for you. And when the old comes in, it does. That's why we have Tafig. That's why we have our practice. Go, oh yeah, thank you for reminding me of where I used to be. And I choose not to be in that energy anymore. And the quicker we catch ourselves in it, the easier it will be for us to get out of this vibration. The quicker it will be to rewire the brain, your energy, your soul vibration, so that you can continually work in this new light. One of the things I was talking about, I just sent out a blog about, was being in the light body. Every day, setting up your energy, just as we do when we tune in, but feeling like, okay, I'm in my light body all around me. It feels like even like that DNA coding, right? We have that twisting, that spiral within us. But if I can allow myself to let the vibration of this new energy coming in spin and spin, it will lift my vibration and be in this energy of the light body. All the practices we do, the Reiki, the sound, the crystal, all of it, tapping, all of it is helping you to lift that vibration. So when we can find the opportunity like we have today, this ring of fire they're talking about for this eclipse, to be through that portal for our own path, we will start to see shifts and changes. And again, we're human, so then we might go back, but then it's like, okay, here I am. It's like a child when they start to walk or, right, they fall down, they get back up. That's what we keep doing. And we keep allowing the soul to guide us and we keep going towards that vibration of light for us. And it is about getting out of the comfort zones. I know it's not easy. And I know right now those dark forces, boy, they just want us to stay in that comfort zone of what we think, what we know, but no. There is a new vibrational light. So we want to follow the light. We want to activate the light body. We want to be in this energy to help us continue to shift and find that new balance. It's a new balance of energy. We let the old go. And so then it's like, okay, soul, spirit, soul, spirit. We do want to bring our soul to work. We want to bring our soul out everywhere we go and feel that deep connection. That's how we anchor in. Because not only do we want to work in the higher dimensions, we still need to be grounded. We still need to be grounded with Mother Earth and allow ourselves to understand what this transformative energy is all about. So the energy around us today is exactly that. As we open up to this Libra energy, where is those scales of balance for you? Now, we need to remember Libra is of the air element, which is our mind, 
which for many of us is our biggest obstacle, our own minds. We're the ones that talk us out of things. We're the ones that keep repeating those thoughts to ourselves. So allow this Libra, this eclipse, all of this swirling of energy to really create that new mindset. Those are the intentions we want to set today. And with the eclipse, not only do we have the new moon, it's more powerful that we set these new energies. <clears throat> so maybe in your journals, you know, maybe you start a whole new list of intentions. Maybe some are still carrying forward. Like, no, I'm keeping this going. I'm moving this forward. Whatever it is for you, notice what those tensions are. And like we do, we put them into our heart. This morning in my meditation, I was just visualizing like, okay, out of the mind, drop into the heart, third eye heart, and then let these come together out into the aura. So see if you can imagine, like you see and you hear, but you feel the essence of those intentions. And then you bring this out to this pinnacle, to this point that opens up this energy all around you so that you can feel a newness for who you are. So we're gonna tune in, we're gonna drop into the heart, do a little breathing. We're gonna take a few moments to write down our intentions. We're gonna give them up to the universe, right? Bring them into our hands, we'll bring a little Reiki in, sending them out, and then I'm gonna add in a light code transmission, a, a, a tuma that I've been working with since down in Teote Tacana when it came to me. All right, so let's begin. As you go to light the fires today, imagine that it's a brand new fire for you. Calling in that element of fire, seeing that spark, pulling your energies in, refreshing, renewing. And as that element of air comes in through the energy of the smoke and the essence of what you're burning, clearing the mind, clearing the space, calling in the element of water, to wash all the way through, allowing it to open the heart, moving through the emotions. No emotion is ever final, let them flow. Calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering. Taking a deep inhale, breathing up the body. And exhale, bring in the breath all the way down. Call all your energy down to ground. Give yourself an anchor. An anchor then to take another breath and move beyond the body all the way up. And then as you exhale, we align the energies, the spiritual body, right on top of the physical body, the emotional, the mentals, all centering. Taking another deep inhale, breathing up the body. And exhale all the way down, dropping into the heart, right into the deepest part. Feel that connection. Your spirit, the greater spirit, know that you are loved, guided, protected, provided for. Feeling all this energy coming in around us as we set this space. We call in the Reiki masters. We call in our teachers. We call in the archangels to open the heart with joy and love. Calling in the crystal beings to surround us with amusement, magnification. Calling in your higher self right above the crown to receive these messages, bringing them into the body. Taking another deep inhale all the way up from the earth, all the way up into the higher realms. And exhale all the way down, activating your light body, this radiance for you. And again, inhale, breathe up the body. Exhale, absolute light, streams of grace, just pouring all the way through the light body, activating this energy for you. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And exhale all the way back down. And now opening from the heart through the aura, expanding that breath all around you, front, side, back. And exhale, breathing it all the way back in. Inhale, expanding the breath all around you. And exhale, breathing it all the way back in. 
moving energy. One more. Inhale. Just clearing all the energy out of the aura so that you can program your aura back into the heart. Right here in the deepest part of your heart, noticing the intentions you want to set for this new energy coming in. See it right in the third eye. Hear the message, know the messages, feel the messages in your heart. And as we take a few moments to journal, opening the eyes to write down your intentions with a newness, a freshness from your heart, from your soul. Activating the light body as you do. See them in color. Feel those intentions for you. Each one that you set right now from the heart. Give thanks that all this lack, these limited beliefs are falling away. Give thanks for the divine plan of your life, opening up to attract your intentions. Feel that infinite spirit opening the way for the abundance, the love, the joy, the higher vibrations to come right into you. Breathe as you write each intention. Breathe from the soul. Feel that energy, see the pictures, project right through, let them come together, programming all around your aura. Allow yourself to be guided for the highest good for these intentions for you. Take another deep breath and feel all this energy you're setting out in your aura. Set it out, bringing the hands together in the lotus form, as if you're holding all of this energy right here, right in front of the heart. And we call in the energy of Reiki, the Han Jin Se Shonen, Han Jin Se Shonen, Han Jin Se Shonen, lifting up this light. And just breathe light, breathe Reiki right into it, empowering it. Shokure, Shokure, Shokure. And then as you're ready, you're just going to let the hands open like butterflies of light, right into the aura, all around you, calling in the crystal beings for that beautiful amusement, for the attraction, so you notice it all through the aura. Feel the buzzing of light all around you. And now just imagine as you let this release, that you start this energy of spinning in your own Merkaba of light, sitting in this double tetrahedron, under this portal light of energy, this new moon, and just see it spinning and spinning, creating that magic in your life. We set this to be true, to allow you to hold this vibration for your manifestations. Feel it, see it, know it, trust. Take a deep breath. Feel that infinite light 
Feel the gratitude. Breathe, holding this vibration. The place where the third eye meets the soul, the heart and the mind become coherent, manifesting. Sealing this energy in. So gray, so gray, so gray. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, coming into the heart. Placing the hands right on the heart. Just feeling this light. Holding this vibration for you. Inhaling. And exhaling. Breathing up the body. Down. Breathing from the heart all around you, back into the center. And again, breathing up the body, back down. Breathing all around you, back into the heart, coming back into the lotus position with the hands and the heart, feeling, seeing, hearing, knowing these intentions. Just for today, the gratitude that we have for the cosmic forces, for setting them out into the world, inhaling, and exhaling all the way down deep into the earth, grounding, and now let us just ground them in the body, tapping on the eyebrows, cheeks, nose and chin. I am manifesting. My light is shining. I am right here, present. Seeing, hearing, feeling, knowing, my light. My light shines. I feel the love through my heart of my soul, my spirit, showing up for me, creating, moving through this portal of light. I am present with love healthy, with joy. I am right here, right now. I am loving, light. Karate chop, I choose to love, accept myself no matter what. Release the hands, take a breath, hold the breath. And just exhale out all the way down. Bringing the hands right up to the heart. Taking a moment of gratitude. Gratitude for these intentions that you're setting. Gratitude for the cosmic forces that keep us spinning and moving and changing. Gratitude for this new moon energy. Gratitude for showing up for you. Inhaling. And exhaling all the way down, deep into the earth, holding that vibration in your heart, feeling your strength right in the solar plexus to stand for your truth. Feel the third eye illuminated. And as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open, coming back. So if you need a few more moments to write your intentions, do so, but stay in this vibration as long as you can. To your spirit, happy new moon. Namaste.